to rehearse here in Central Park? It'd be even better if we could stop rehearsing and get to work already. You're beginning to sound like Harry and Leo. Hey, you better save some of those peanuts, Nancy, because if we don't work soon, we'll be eating them all winter. Lay off, will you? We're going to go to work as soon as McGiven can get Crosby to look at the act. Dan promised us. And what Dan says is good enough for me. Yeah, well, what are we going to get to audition? Well, Dan doesn't want us to be seen until the act is polished. He's a perfectionist, and I admire him. Now, so we'll spend the rest of our lives rehearsing. Yeah, I don't want to wait for a break till I'm old and ugly. I want to break now while I'm young and ugly. <laughs> what worries me is that you two are going to start worrying so much that I'll start worrying and then Nancy will start worrying. Before you know it, this act will be known as Dan Carter and his four worry birds. That is absolutely right. Well, look who's here. What in the world is that? Well, get a load of that schnoz. <laughs> that's, uh, that's an Australian worry bird. <laughs> what does that mean? Girls, your worries are over. What do you I mean? don't get it. What do you mean? Everyone has his share of care and woe even in lovers lane there's rain and snow we all have to pay the piper so why be a gloomy griper forget regret don't let it get you low no let the worry bird worry for you what? let the worry bird fuss and stew when you get the jitter, yeah. he twitters. Oh. Let the worry bird worry his head. Have the time of your life instead. What's a tumble or two as long as you can keep well, sleep well? Every cloud is silver lined. Bear that in mind. When old man trouble gets tough and the going gets rough, let the worry bird worry for you. It's remarkable what he'll do. He'll consider it fun to be your understudy. 